Philippa. Search online businesses for sale. What? 1500 bucks, 117, $200. These are pretty cheap. I wonder if they make any money or get any traffic. Negative $800 a month and they're asking 20 grand? Get out of here. I don't know why you'd buy a business that loses money. Wait a minute, what's that? $21,000 a month in revenue? And they're only asking? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is correct. Today we are looking at the powerhouse that is Flippa, where you can buy and sell websites that make money, are gonna make money, have apps, have software, and full-blown businesses for pennies on the dollar sometimes. Sometimes it's more like dollars on the penny. And Flippa was founded in 2009. They've sold over 300 thousand digital assets since then. It has over 3 million users and it boasts over 400 million dollars in sales. That works out to an average sale price of just around $1,300. Now, all of what I just said is going to be very important because in this video, we are going to unlock the power of Flippa and show you exactly what's going on even if you don't intend to buy a business. Wait, what? This video is gonna be valuable even if I'm not buying a business? Yeah. Even if I don't have any money? Yeah. Because we're gonna show you how to unlock the hidden secrets of the Flippa website to find profitable niches, business ideas, domain names, and more. So if you're excited, smash a like button and commit right now to watch this entire video. Because I don't guarantee things often, but I guarantee that if you watch this whole video, you're going to get lots of aha moments that's going to help you learn how online business works so that you can put some money in your pocket. Hopefully you have bigger pockets. Are you ready? Let's get started. So here is a list of 50 different sites for sale on Flippa that we analyzed just for this video. You can see here that these range from a couple of bucks to like $238,000. Yeah, just for one website. And what we did is organize all the data from monthly profit to page views or traffic, how many keywords they rank for in Google, the value of the traffic, how much organic traffic they're getting according to the Ahrefs keyword tool, the current price for the site on Flippa, and whether it's an auction or a buy it now kind of deal. And you could see we analyzed a ton of sites. And we found that the total monthly profit of these 50 sites was just a hair under $80,000 a month. Total traffic was about 500,000 visitors. They got over 172,000 keyword rankings in Google. The Ahrefs traffic value was actually right around half of what the people were saying on Flippa. More about that later. The Ahrefs traffic, again, right around the halfway mark of what the listing says. And if you were to add up all the sales prices of these sites, you'd be out of pocket a cool million bucks. And to show you exactly how this works, I went ahead and dug into a domain that already sold. Yes, this is a website that sold for $6,200. Now, we could see, according to the Ahrefs keyword tool, a 50 million rank, 1,900 backlinks, 807 referring domains, over 750 keywords ranking in Google, 180 visitors a month from that traffic, and the total traffic value is only 64 bucks. That means in order to make profit, you'd need to own this site for like 10 years. I don't know about you, but I ain't got that kind of time to make my money back. Which is why I'm gonna show you these four things right now. Number one, how to research private listings. Number two, how to find recent sales, like I did here, using the spy method. Number three, three ways to value a site or business. And number four, as a business owner, a website buyer, a domain investor, what is it that I'm ultimately looking for so I can make the most profit possible? And looking at that site that sold for $6,200, they said it was making about $450, which may or may not be true. This is an older listing and I'm looking at stats from today, but still, we need to pay close attention to this if we wanna make money. Because we could see here, this was about ice shavers, which may or may not be profitable. We need to look at the affiliate offers in a little bit more detail. And we could see the keywords it ranks for are not that great. 
We have snow cone machine, which this one I could probably turn into profit. That might be a reason to buy this domain, but probably not at 6,000 bucks because I could rank for that one with any domain. It's not that competitive. Hint, what you just learned there is very important to your ability to make money. Keep watching to see where it fits in commercial, how to clean ice makers. So all kinds of stuff about snow cones and snow cone makers and everything like that. But if you ain't got six grand to spend on this site, don't worry, there's other ways to get around this. And I probably personally wouldn't buy this for six grand either. And another little tip for you, I actually was able to find this using the Wayback Machine. That's right, you can go to web.archive.org, type any website you want and see what it looked like back in time. And this is super helpful to my profit line because if I can find a seller that's doing a lot of this stuff, like this guy here who has 57 transactions, totaling $151,000, I can actually go in and see what sold, look it up and why. Now, this is very important because we could go through and see this one sold for $2,200. But if I click here, you're gonna get a 404 error that says, this listing doesn't exist anymore. However, if I take the entire URL, plug it in the Wayback Machine, I can actually click here and see what the listing looked like back in February. And now I know that this site actually sold for $2,200. And now it's time to do a little snooping. If I can take this image of the website and find some specific things that are gonna stand out in Google and then Google them, I can probably locate the site that sold. Boom, there it is. Damn, my internet's pretty fast. Then I could take that site, put it into my Ahrefs keyword tool, see what keywords it ranks for, and see if the website's worth it. And according to these results, I would have bought this for 2,200 bucks in a heartbeat. But since it's not for sale anymore, now I know I can go find internet speed test stuff, domains for speed test, or other websites for sale and use this niche to make a bunch of money. Money. And what I wanna do is pay close attention to what's going on on these sites. See if there's some that match the price model that works for me. And if there are, I could pick them up and resell them. There are tons of people that are on Flippa that are buying sites, building them up, reselling them for more than they bought them for. Now, we're gonna talk about this in a minute, but let's take a look at a couple others. Here's one I found that was for the work from home reviews type niche. Now, I'm not gonna reveal the site, but the traffic wasn't that impressive. I could see that the Ahrefs rank was about a million, 3,900 backlinks, and only about 2,700 keywords with about 2,500 visitors a month. And the top keyword was all about different reviews for different make money products. Now the rankings are okay. I probably could build this up to do really well, but it's starting at $12,000. There's a $32,000 reserve and the buy it now is 130 grand. I would probably do a heck of a lot better with a lot less money if I bought a domain at auction and built it up myself. And to learn more about my auction methods, check the links in the description for those videos. So that one probably wouldn't be that great of a buy for me. I did find a site about air purifiers that was making $62 a month, which had an asking price of 3000. And that actually matches a domain that I found at auction that I got for only $300, which I could probably get to do similar rankings. And this is actually a domain that I bought as part of our high ticket niche program, where you could actually go in and get the domain that I get. We build it for you. We help you set it up and then we help you make it work. It's actually really cool. And this one you could see here, actually, when I bought it at auction, it had quite a few rankings for these different air purifiers, which was pretty cool. It also had some very specific backlinks for air purifiers and different things like that. And we could see in the movements that it had lots of recent rankings we can build up and grow as well. So this is a perfect site for what we're looking for if we wanna build it up and grow and not have to pay tens of thousands of dollars to get these sites. And I also know, worst case scenario, I could build this up, make a little bit of money, and then sell it on Flippa because people are buying this stuff like crazy. There's something about notepads for Mac, an e-commerce blog, something about showers that's going for $4,500, street food, not making that much money there, and on and on we go. And looking at the results, the average website you buy 
isn't going to give you profit until at least two to three years after you buy it. And that's assuming that the rankings stay the same and the money stays the same. So there's a lot of risk here, but it can be rewarding and Flippa can be a great place to find these. But oftentimes you got to weed through a bunch of stuff to find a really good one. And of course, you want to pay attention to people who don't know how to monetize their site. For example, this website's about mattresses. They're only making $139 a month, which I know there's some good affiliate offers in the mattress niche that do really well. So I would have to take a look at this and see if the traffic in the rankings is worth $5,500. And if it is, I would buy it. And if I don't have $5,500, I'm going to go a different route, find a cheaper site and spend more work building it up. Or I could start from scratch or I could buy a domain at auction, or I could go to highticketniches.com and Marcus already did this for me. That's why our High Ticket Niches program is so valuable. Highticketniches.com if you want to learn more about that. And we could see here there's all kinds of sites that are out there that are for sale that we can either buy, take over, and build up, or simply use as research to find niches that are worth lots of money. So when I'm using Flippa, the number one things that I want to look for is people that are selling stuff and what kind of niches and genres are fetching lots of money. Because no matter what the gurus tell you, I'm going to look at what's actually working and what people are using to make money. This is an incredible resource. And when I'm using Flippa, I want to be careful to watch out for overpriced websites or cookie cutter websites. You want to make sure that the websites you get have something of value other than just the website unless you're just buying a domain for the domain purposes. But we want to go through and say, hey, I don't just want like the drop shipping master site with all the stuff on it. I want something that's actually ranking in a niche that I could use to build up. Maybe something that's making a couple dollars a month or 500 bucks a month or whatever it is. Very important there because I see a lot of my students and customers come to me after buying these cookie cutter websites for hundreds and thousands of dollars that aren't worth anything. So watch out for that and make sure there's real world value. And number two, we're gonna use Flippa to find niches and some decent sites for sale. So we could go out there and we can find niches and, and different things like that that are worth lots of money. Now, we have to be careful because some of those sites, like the one I showed in the beginning that said it's making $21,000 a month, according to the traffic of that site, it doesn't actually look like that to me. Now, that's my first glance. We could dive deeper and see if there's a network of sites or whatever it is. But according to my research, it's only getting 2,900 visitors a month on that site. And even if we do a similar web report, we can see it's getting less than 50,000 visitors a month. So unless they're making like 20 bucks a visitor, it's probably not going to cut the mustard. So we got to pay attention to that and we got to use this and look at it rationally like a business person. Number three, it's a great resource to find what people are doing to profit. We can go in and we can find people who have networks of sites that are buying and selling them and reselling them and building them up and all kinds of things. Some people are using Flippa to make a full-time living and that's pretty cool. Number four, we can take our websites and sell them on Flippa. Number five, we can buy, build, and rank sites for the purpose of having a flip a business where we build sites for other people to take over. And number six, my favorite takeaway, is that we can find serial site sellers and hack the keywords of literally any niche. And sometimes, if we run across a good site with traffic and backlinks, we can buy it, build it, grow it, and make lots of money. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to learn more about Flippa, comment below, say, Teach me more about Flippa. And if you want to get one of my websites, check out highticketniches.com. And be sure to check out the videos in the description all about domain buying and how I find niches for profit.